one flip there. Okay. First card is, as soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power toward what I want. So very much about looking into your shadow aspects. It's not about criticizing them. It's about um, taking them in as part of you and accepting them, and that brings wholeness. Because I talked about this the other day. When we are holding energies in our body or our energy body that are attracting things, we want it to be pretty clear. If we've got stuff that's needing to be released, we should really work on that because what we want to attract or what we really want to attract or trying to work on is going to be affected by that. So I always start with working on myself to bring in what I want into my life. A lot of people go the other way around, <laughs> but I've learned it's definitely worth um, starting from yourself and doing the spiritual work. Hopefully that resonates with you. The next card straight away, my ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts, which is so true. So I'll just read that again. My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. So often we are focusing on what we're fearful of, or scared of, what um, could happen that's possibly negative because we're trying to avoid disaster or avoid embarrassment or shame or whatever it is. But that is actually counterproductive to what we are doing. So um, really mindfulness comes into play here. If you can learn a mindfulness meditation that helps you to be aware of your thoughts and stop yourself from going into negativity and to practice the alternative, which is gratitude, being grateful for everything in your life, and that brings in more things that you're grateful for. And that's the vibration we want to be at so that we can attract the beautiful things in life, okay? Hopefully you understand that. Oh, these cards are flying out, <laughs> except they're on the floor. Okay, <laughs> I've got two cards. My, t my true safety, oh, this is funny. My true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. So I was just talking about trying to be safe, and here is the, here's the um, information that they want to give us about feeling safe truly, which is my true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. Aligning with the love of the universe. The second card, when I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I, what I cannot do for myself. Okay? So we're often thinking, why isn't this happening? Why isn't this happening? But what that actually is doing is bringing more, why isn't it happening? If you're in waiting mode, more waiting. So think about what, you, what energy you're projecting out there so that you can really focus on the energy that you want to bring in what you want. Very important. Mm, I feel like I need to pick up the other deck now. Okay, the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them, all right? If you're feeling like you're not ready yet, just try anyway. You probably already know what it is that you want to do, um, but the fear is stopping you or blocking you. So really want to put that fear into perspective. It's all about creating safety, avoiding something, Instead, think about what you could achieve through this dream or goal or action that you've already got in your mind and your heart and go for it. 
Now is the time to go for it. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. Always come back to that for me. I always come back to spiritual alignment because that is like number one and meditation does that for me. I always just think if I can come back to that oneness within and with the divine, from there I can erase the ego, well, not erase it, but erase the control, the grip it has on me, and I can clear my mind and I can start fresh and I can listen to my heart. Whoa. <laughs> Another card flew out. I heal the habit of fear and I embrace the habit of love, which is what I just said. So we're wanting to always choose love over fear. Sometimes we need to shift ourselves into the love through some practice. So the practice might be meditation. It might be a walk in nature. Um, just think of something that helps you shift into that feeling of love and just um, back to your true self. What makes you feel like yourself again? Maybe it's a long hot bath or playing with your dog or there's so many ways to do it. <laughs> They're all falling on the floor tonight. But I'm glad that means things are happening here with the energy. Wow. This one says, the universe powerfully responds the instant I realign with love. Very similar to what we had before, but the messages keep repeating over and over again. Align with love align with the divine, step out of the ego, come into your heart, don't fear and step forward into action to create what you want. And if you need to do healing to bring yourself into alignment, do it. Hey, if anyone wants me to pull a card for them from these two decks, I'll just pull a card. I won't do messages for each person specifically. Um, just write a note in the chat. But I'm going to continue with these messages for a moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. So that inner quiet can come from meditation. I know I keep banging on about meditation, but it's really helpful, really, really helpful especially with stress. <laughs> Either I'm really bad at shuffling tonight or the guides are pushing these cards around. I'm feeling the call to move to a different deck. I'm just going to see if one more card comes out of here. There it is. I can do less and attract more. Okay. I can do less and attract more. Very different way of thinking to what we all kind of believe, which is we've got to do more and more and more to get more. This is a much more simple way of doing things. It was letting the universe help you. OK, 
Okay, this deck is called the Divine Abundance. And it's very good for coming into a space of allowance to manifest what you want in life. That one fell out. Liberation. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. Okay? That's the key thing here is understanding that your doubts and fears are not actually you. Your thoughts are not you. So if you come across fear, just remember it's false programming. False programming. I hope that makes sense to you. Sometimes we need messages to repeat over and over again to remember them and ingrain them and bring them into practice for ourselves. I know I do. It's been a long path of learning for me. Courage. This comes back to what we were saying earlier about taking action. And it says, let me be open to courageously taking the leaps that are shown. Courage. Some of the people watching this will have an idea that they want to do, but they're having fear block them or stop them from actually going ahead with it. And as we've been getting the message strongly tonight is to Step away from the fear and step forward into your action plan. Take action. It may take some courage, but I think once you actually do it, there will be no fear. You'll realise that. For other people watching, it's a different scenario where you're waiting or you were waiting to receive, but we're trying to get out of waiting mode and more into allowing mode. So slight difference in energy vibration there so for you guys it's going to be more understanding these lessons in your heart space and coming into a vibration of gratitude And this is the card that came out, ease. It's easy for me to receive, which is what I was just saying then. It's easy for me to receive. So that's the space that we want to be in when we are being ready to receive what we're trying to manifest. And then the other people who are trying to uh, want to create something and take action, for you guys, it's about just stepping around the fear and moving forward. <laughs> 